I love hand dyed yarns, particularly speckled yarns. So what better craft to do at Halloween time than make some spooky speckled yarns. Now, in addition to speckled yarns, I also found a nifty tutorial on how to do a gradient dye without having to like section off each bit of the skein. You can do it in one pot. I have two skeins of this bare palette yarn from Knit Picks, so it's just 100% wool. What we're gonna do is do one of them in a gradient from purple to black, and the other is going to be a gorgeous, hopefully variegated green with black speckles all over it. So I've got like my dyes that I picked up ages ago from the op shop, which are Dylon cold dyes. I have no idea if they're still produced. They look like they probably aren't, but I don't know. And then I've also got some black writ dye. And let's see if I can put my applied science degree to use and do some dyeing. I've linked both tutorials I used in the description, but for this one, the first step is to wind your yarn into a ball. I started with a black dye and tested the dye levels with a strip of paper towel. I made a mistake and didn't wet my yarn before dyeing, so it ended up being a soft gradient of black all the way through. The writ dye was also very strong, so I only let it sit for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. This takes a lot of winding. I recommend setting up music or something to watch to entertain yourself. Then it was straight into the purple bath. I ended up leaving this one for about an hour to let the purple really sink in. I used my Nitty Naughty to skein my yarn again before washing and drying, but there are lots of options for skeining with that one. For the second yarn, I attempted to do a variegated green by not mixing the dye all the way through the water. It didn't really work, and I think this had to do with the dye I was using. I was able to sort of finger paint some darker green on later with the speckles. After rinsing, I pre-soaked the dyed yarn in a vinegar mixture again before sprinkling the black and green dyes on both sides of the yarn. then placed it in a steam bath.
After washing, I used an old towel to squeeze out the excess moisture, then hung it out to dry. I am super happy with how both of these turned out. I wasn't thrilled with the green at first, I think because it looked very different to what my vision originally was, but it's absolutely grown on me through the dyeing process, especially since working out that it matches the little mimic jar. This purple one though, I am 100% in love with. I think it's a very user-friendly option to dye gradient yarns. In fact, I immediately started messaging my knitting circle about it because I was so excited by it. <laughs> so I put this project second because projects three and eight, you could technically dye your own fun Halloween yarn colors for if you wanted to. They both use fingering weight yarn. You'd probably need about four balls for both projects, but you can just wait and see. That is it for this project. If you liked this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to join along with the rest of 13 projects of Halloween. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you soon for project number three. Bye.